Hi guys, this is Amar and uh, welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this uh, video, we are going to focus on a BGP troubleshooting ticket. And uh, the ticket here, you can see guys that it is saying that the communication is not happening between uh, source 30.1.1.1, which is over here, uh, which is the loopback of this router R3 and destination uh, 10.2.1. 1.1 so which is uh, loop back to of this router r1 so basically a communication is not happening between a source and a destination and we need to troubleshoot uh, this particular ticket and this is basically uh, the scenario which is based on bgp so here you can see that you know i've already configured all the stuff and uh, here you can see that there's a bgp uh, which is eBGP since it is uh, between this AS100. So this is basically uh, AS100 and uh, this is AS200. So router R2 and router R3 are, are the member of AS200. So there is an eBGP which is running between R1 and R2 and there is uh, something known as iBGP which is uh, which is running between R2 and R3 since they are the member of the same AS. So, so this is this is what we need to troubleshoot. So, let's see and start our troubleshooting from source that is from R3. So, what I'll do is I'll quickly log in into this R3 router. So, I've, so, so these are the three routers over here, and uh, this is our R3. So, what I'll do is I'll try to ping from R3. Let's first check whether the source is configured on R3 or not. Show IP in brief, which is. Uh, 30.1.1.1 so yes the source is here correct 30.1.1.1 uh, let's try to ping the destination 10.2.1.1 keeping the source as 30.1.1.1 and uh, you can see that we are not able to ping the destination so this this is the issue which we need to solve so if I'm not able to reach a particular destination from a router. What the very first thing I'll do is I'll check the route, whether any route is present for this particular destination or not. So let me check the routing table. Show IP route 10.2.1.1. And you can see guys that here is clearly written that subnet not in table. So there is this particular subnet is not present in my routing table. I can check my routing table, show IP route and uh, here you can see guys the the routing table over here of this particular router and uh, you can see guys that uh, 10.1.1.0 network which is the loopback uh, one of router r1 is present uh, loopback 3 that is 10.3.1.1 is also present so the other loopbacks are present but this particular loopback that is this particular network i can say to be very specific 10.2.1.1 one slash 24 it is it is not present or in this uh, routing table of this particular router uh, you can again i can show you that uh, you know i'm able to ping if in case instead of 10.2.1.1 if i mention 10.1.1.1 i'm able to ping but not 10.2.1.1 so so let's see why we are not able to uh, have this particular route so even if you can see that you know this particular routes are getting installed in the routing table because of this b b is nothing but bgp so it is getting the route via 23.1.1.2 so what is 23.1.1.2 here you can see that 23.1.1.2 is router r2 so they're getting the routes via r2 so if i go and check over here show ip bgp summary I can see that you know in BGP table of R3 there is one in the BGP neighbor table of R3 there is one neighbor 23.1.1.2 which is R2. Now if I, if I want to check the routes which I have received from R2, uh, the command will be show IP BGP neighbor 23.1.1.2 received routes, and you can see that uh, some error coming that inbound soft reconfiguration not enabled for this particular neighbor so we have to enable it then only we can view it 
so let's do that small changes quickly so this is my bgp configuration show run pipe section bgp i'll simply go in the configurational mode router bgp 200 neighbor 23.1.1.2 soft reconfiguration and for inbound so i have to you know do this configuration to basically view my uh, inbound direction uh, or the routes which i'm receiving from r2 so now we will issue the same command and check and now you can see that you know i'm able to receive all this network from r2 again you can say that the next hop is r2 23.1.1.2 you can see guys that i'm able to receive this 10.1.1.1 uh, 10.3.3.3.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 then 10.4.1.1 network so all these networks are there but 10.2.1.1 is missing so why it is missing we have to figure it out it is missing because r2 is not advertising this network to r3 okay so r2 you can see just i'll just show you that r2 is advertising uh, so basically this all these networks need to be advertised from r1 to r2 first and then r2 will advertise this network to its ibgp neighbor that is r3 so it is advertising all these networks it's all these four networks and then all these three networks except this network so this network is not advertised from r2 to r3 so let's see that why it is not advertising so i'll just go on r2 and check whether r2 have it or not first the r2 should have the network right then only r2 can advertise the network to r3 so let's check the routing table of uh, r2 for that particular network and you can see that r2 is also not having that network in its routing table so let's check over here show ip bgp summary you can see here that it have uh, two neighbors this is r1 which is an ebgp and of course this is this is r3 which is an ibgp neighbor so let's let's see whether r1 is advertising it or not or r2 is receiving it or not so first we'll check on r2 whether it is receiving it or not so the command is show ip bgp neighbor 12.1.1.1 which is r1 so we are checking whether we are on r2 the routes are getting received properly or not from neighbor r1 mm -hmm. so i'll put it like receive routes and you can see that that yes we are able to receive the route and stand out 2.1.0 we are able to receive it but you can see something is missing over here that is this particular route is not the best route you can see here that it is a valid and best here also you can this is the status a code so it is valid and best all the all the three routes are valid and best but this route is not best it is just valid but not best so let me check on r1 why it is not best show ip bgp summary so this is r2 show ip bgp neighbor 12.1.1.2 advertise route so what are routes is advertising okay so here it is okay advertising it fine but here you can see it is only valid not the best one so we need to check something on r1 first of all so let's check on r1 show run section bgp so i'm just checking bgp configurational stuff and uh, here you can see that for this particular neighbor that is 12.1.1.2 for advertise route okay there's a route map which is configured that is advertise route so let's check this route map first of all advertised route that is adv underscore routes and you can see that it have an access list one so let me check this ip access list so ip access list one and uh, this are all the access list entries uh, these are basically the networks which uh, which r1 is advertising to r2 so there is something known as route filtering applied over here 
So it is advertising, you know, all the four routes. That is fine. Let's check on R2, show run section BGP. Now here also we can check that for this particular neighbor 12.1.1.1 receive route. So R1 will advertise, R2 will receive. So I need to check this particular route map. So let me check show route map receive routes. And here the access list is 2. Show IP access list 2. Okay. So guys, here you can see that entry for 10.2.1.0 is missing so let's let's do this entry first of all and then check so the command is ip access list standard 2 i'll permit 10.2.1.0 followed by the wildcard mark so it is slash 24 the wildcard marks will be 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 now let me check the acl first of all so we have an entry over here but still there are no matches so let's let's see whether it's working or not right now uh, show ip so this was the command right receive route so from r1 let's check whether the receive route or not you can see here that it is a valid but still it is not best so what i'll do is i'll just do once soft reset for the incoming routes on bgp now let me check now you can see that it is uh, you know valid and best as well now let me check one thing over here that uh, whether i have it in the routing table or not now show ip route 10.2.1.1 so yes now i am having it in my routing table and you can see that it is getting learned via bgp okay the distance is 20 so 20 is something uh, which is the ad value of ebgp and uh, it is knowing via bgp 200 because a router r2 is member of as 200 and you can see uh, it is having uh, this is type external and this is this is r1's ip 12.1.1.1 so and all these details are there the as hop is one and all this stuff is there so let me check whether now i'm able to ping it from uh, r2 router yes i'm able to ping it now let me check whether r3 is receiving the route or not now you can see that yes r3 is also receiving the route that is 10.2.1.1 0 slash 24 so now hopefully we should be able to ping yes this is, this was the source 30.1.1.1 and you can see that, that yes we are able to ping it you know we are able to ping it so here also if you want to check cross check something you can see that you know we have got some some matches over here two matches over here so yes our traffic is flowing and uh, from r3 we are able to ping the destination 10.2.1.1 so basically uh, in this a uh, troubleshooting ticket the learning thing is that you know there was a route filtering which was uh, applied by the route map okay on both the sides so from here in the uh, for the advertised routes and here on the receive route and here on the receive route under this uh, route map uh, there was an acl we saw that there was a standard acl uh, 2 which was configured over here and in that particular acl the entry for uh, for 10.2.1.1 uh, was uh, missing so we we made an entry in that particular uh, standard access list and then the uh, then the started functioning properly and we were able to ping it from r3 as well because r2 was was himself not getting uh, uh was not having that uh, route entry in its routing table so and r3 was not having it so we solved this issue guys uh so i'll 
try to make such videos more and more videos on bgp travel shooting uh, tickets uh, because i've already made some uh, some of the tickets you can check those tickets as well so what i'll do is i'll stop in this video here as i told i'll try to make more videos on this but for that guys kindly give me appropriate feedback on this video so that it will motivate me to make more such uh, tickets and some some tricky stuff more in bgp uh, troubleshooting ticket so i'll stop here and catch you in the next video till then bye thanks and take care